welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna explain my code, which is EMG Nordic Hamstring Core Experiment. And actually, this is the second section. I already uploaded my first explanation video about importing data. So if you missed that, please check it out. So today my focus is protein raw data. So first of all, let me import the data. Okay, so I just finished importing data. Took a long time, but yeah, it's already here. So you probably saw the raw data in my previous video. So I'm gonna skip inspecting the raw data. So let's dive into the plot raw data section. So the first line is just the name of the variables. I created a variable called muscles and the name of muscles right here. So right bicep femoris, right semitendinosis, left bicep femoris, and left semitendinosis. If I run this, I create a variable called muscles right here. And uh, so I just created the name right here. It's just a name, nothing else. Then this is for loop. So as I explained in my previous video, for loop, loops like five times because I put counter variable i, which stands for index, and I put the equal sign and the one semicolon five, which means i goes from one to five. So in total, it, this for loop loops five times, right? Then you know the logic, the for loop loops five times, and uh, if you see the counter variable right next to the variable which contain the data, this like line or code right here extracts the data one by one. And as you probably know, I extract the data in the first cell, in the first loop, and uh, I take all rows and the uh, column number from two to five. I'm gonna exclude the first column because it's just a sample. It doesn't contain the data for the EMG on muscles. So I'm just gonna exclude the, the first column. Second column should be right bicep femoris. Third column should be right semitendinosis. Fourth column should be left bicep femoris. And the, the last or fifth column is left semitendinosis. Then this is the explanation of how loops work, or oh, actually the seat as well. So this variable I already created right here and I explained it in my previous video. So if you don't know about it, just go check it out. I mean, it's just the name of the, of the seat in the Excel file. And uh, display labels, it's just the name. So, okay, I have to explain this one. So name is the uh, name of the variable I just created. I mean, it could be whatever. And uh, equal sign starcat. Starcat is a function which can combine two strings inside the brackets right here. So first input argument is variable called muscles. I mean, I just created right here. As I said, it's just the name of the muscles. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine the, the name I mean, each name with square bracket B, which means bolt, because EMG unit is bolt, so it's just square bracket with B, yeah, it's, it's nothing special actually. So what I'm gonna create is our biceps space square bracket B, our semi-tendinosis space square bracket B, and for left side or left right. Then I'm gonna put function called figure to create a figure, right? So whenever you want to create a figure, you have to put the function figure. I mean, there is an exception, but usually you're gonna put figure. And uh, I'm not gonna use plot function this time. Instead, I'm gonna use stacked plot function. Stacked plot function is useful when the data is stored in table format. Data in table format is it's kind of difficult to extract the data compared to matrix. 
So when you have data in table format with it like this, as you can see, this is table format in each cell. Probably you want to use stacked plot instead of plot. So I kind of explained the input argument, but I'm going to repeat that. So first input argument is just the data. As I explained at the beginning, so the data is a variable which contains all the EMG data. And as you saw, the contents inside is just the data in table format. And there are five tables right here and start in each cell. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extract data one by one. So as four loop loops one to five, this data or this code extract data from cell one to cell five. And like I say, I need all rows, but I exclude the first column, right? Then second input argument is job title I think I already explained in the previous video some functions have specific job and you can put the job title or well, this time it's just the title and uh, you can define the job right here so title the job is you can put the title it's it's very simple and the title should be this one that's it so for the first loop it should be nordic 1 second loop nordic 2 third loop nordic 3 and so on so on as you probably guess i'm gonna create five different plots because i have five emg data and uh, each plot i'm gonna put the title nordic 1 nordic 2 nordic 3 in order then i'm gonna put another job title called display labels so display labels is just the the job you can put labels so in each figure i'm gonna put four different emg because i have four different muscles right here and uh, each emg plot i'm gonna put label like our bicep femoris our semi tendinalis and the left side but i combined the name with space square bracket b so the label appears as if our bicep femoris space square bracket B, ultimate tendinitis, space square bracket B, and so on and so on. Then I'm gonna save the plot data into variable called stack. Then next step is I'm gonna fix the y limit which is the range of y axis. So I'm gonna extract the information of the plot which I stored in the previous line right here. So the way you can extract the information is using dot function. So name of the variable which contain the information of plot and you're gonna put dot and you're gonna define what kind of information you want and uh, which order. So it kind of depends on how many plot you're gonna make. I'm gonna create, okay, in total five figures and each figure. I'm gonna include four different EMG, so four different subplots. So that's why I have in total four different information about plot in each video. Little bit confusing now, but like when I run this, it should be everything clear. So and after I define the information I want to extract, I can specify the job. And I'm gonna use dot function again, and uh, I wanna extract the data about y limit, which is the range of y axis. And uh, I want to fix the y axis from minus two to two, nothing more. Then I'm gonna do the same thing for the subplot two, and subplot three, subplot four. So all y range or like all range in y axis should be fixed from minus two to two. Then I'm gonna put x label. So x label is a function you can put label in x axis. And the input argument is very simple. You just put whatever you wanna put in x axis as a label. And don't forget you have to put my double quotation mark because it's its name. 
Okay, so let me run this. So as I mentioned, I created five figures and each figure there are four different data or subplots, right? And as I mentioned, I created a label and the StarCat function does really good job to combine the name, which is right by the family space square bracket B and uh, for the rest of the data or like subplot label and uh, each subplot y axis is fixed from minus 2 to 2 unfortunately I couldn't really find to put the tick right here so 0 is appeared right here but like minus 2 should be here but like it's not here and the 2 should be here but like it's not appeared but the y axis Range is fixed in each subplot. Then x label, as I mentioned right here in this line, time space square bracket s, it appears right here. You can change whatever you want. And uh, I put job title called title, and uh, I put seed right, and the for loop goes from one to five, and uh, seed stores five different names which is not like one two three four five and it starts from one for the figure one and not like two for figure two and so on so on so the title is right here not like one and if you check the figure two it's not like two but like label is the same y axis is same range and the x label is the same and uh, i'm not sure how to validate the data but Basically, for the right by the families, this all data is plotted right here. And for the right semi tended notice, it's this one. And so on, so on. And also, I got a question from uh, my audience saying that stack plot doesn't work. As far well as I research, if you have MATLAB version, I think newer than 2018A, you should be able to use stacked plot. I'm using version of 2020B, so yeah, I mean, I don't think you need to install the toolbox or something like that. So if you are not sure, I kind of recommend to use MATLAB online because almost all toolbox are available without installing. And uh, again, if you want to check what kind of job this function can do, you can just type in right here or just copy and paste. And uh, you can search right here, right, well, yeah, right here. So you can kind of search what kind of job this function can do so by the way tbl is just a uh, abri abbreviation of table so simply you just need to input the table yeah so you can put the job title which is just title or display labels like i used in my code but like you can explore if you are not sure you just search it google it so that's how you can improve or like that's how you can know what kind of job this function can do and uh, I use the stacked plot but like obviously you can use plot and subplot so let me create this one by using plot and subplot so I'm gonna do four rows one column and the uh, first data should be in the first position and I'm just gonna plot so is the way you can extract the data from the table you can use dot function oh this is stored in the cell so i'm gonna specify which cell i'm gonna extract the data so again this is cell array so i'm i'm just focusing on the first cell and uh, inside the cell it contains the table so i'm gonna specify the first cell and use dot function and uh, just type the name of the column and uh, I mean no fixation of y axis and uh, no label and no title but 
So four rows, one column, and position two. And pretty much I'm gonna do the same thing, but like different name. So right then I tend to know this and substrat four rows, one column, and position three. And plot data and specify the first cell and left bicep femoris. Uh, plot four columns, no, four rows, one column, and position four. And put the data, which by the first cell, and extract the data about the system I can do this. And if I run this, okay, it looks like this. Okay, I don't have title, I didn't fix the y axis, I don't have x label, y label, but it looks like this, right? <laughs> so it's, you know, kind of same thing. But like, look at this, I have to waste the line, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I have to waste 9 lines, but like, if you use stacked plot, it's just one line, and uh, yeah, basically creates a plot. So, that's why I use a stacked plot for this data. But like, it only works if you have the data in table format. But you can use plot and the sub plot to plot exactly the same thing actually. And uh, to be honest, this way is more flexible. So before running how to plot by stack the plot, you should run sub plot plot function to plot whatever data you want to plot. So pretty much that's it. Thank you for watching my video. And uh, next time I'm gonna ex train detrend the data okay so see you next time